I'm Mike from One on One Animation. Uh, we put together a little video uh, for free for you guys on the site here because we're noticing that in our teachings that the students are having a little trouble uh, flipping drawings because they're not that familiar with it and they've never really done it before. So <clears throat> what we've done is we've put together a short video that kind of gets more in depth about uh, techniques and the, and the purpose behind flipping the drawings to, so that you can check out your animation and uh, see how the movement's coming along before you even get into the, the pencil test stage. So uh, sit back and enjoy and uh, we hope you like it. In order to visualize your animation on the desk before you even shoot a pencil test, you've got to be able to do this thing called flipping where you flip the pages to check out the movement. So I've created one drawing here, which is my first pose that I'll start the character at. And then I'm going to do another drawing here, which I've got ready already, pre-drawn. This is the second pose that I want to animate into, raising up his fist. So, <clears throat> you can see already, just by flipping these two pages together, I can see some sort of movement going on. And now we're going to introduce the third page, and the reason why we're doing it in this order is so that we can draw on this top surface. So we've got the first drawing on the bottom, the drawing that we're going to work into from this first one, we're going to work into this next one, which will be right on top of that, and then we're going to put the third drawing, which we're going to actually create the new drawing on, so we can flip between them like this and see how the movement works. Okay, so I'm going to just rough this in here. You can see how I've, I'm flipping the paper to watch the sequence of the movement. And this gives me a chance to figure out what kind of movement I want to create here. So I want to bend the legs like this. Something like that. But I've got to constantly flip like this to see what's going on. So when, <clears throat> when animators are flipping this paper, they're not sitting here thinking first drawing, second drawing, third drawing, second drawing. They're not sitting here thinking one, two, three, two, one. Although it helps to think about that when you're first learning it. But when you're animating, you're trying to get this down really quick. You're just flipping back and forth, back and forth like this to see how it's, how it's coming along. Like I said, this is like your pencil test at your desk. before you even uh, shoot it. So you get to play around with how you want these things to move between drawings, like that. So now you can see I've got this arm twisting inward and then it'll come outward to the fist, like that. And this just kind of, the shoulder goes up here, his chest goes down as he anticipates, the legs spread because he's moving down. I get the idea here. And flop the ear a little bit. Like that. So animators have to be flipping like this constantly without thinking about it. It's like breathing. You just do it automatically. You're not sitting there too conscious about it. And that's the three flip the three page flipping. Now, if, if this is still confusing for you and you can't visualize the drawings in that order, you just switch the last two. So you've got your first drawing, second drawing, and third drawing. Put them together in order, the way that they're going to be shot or photographed. And then you can roll them straight like this. So now I'm not doing that technique where I'm flipping back and forth. I'm just kind of rolling the drawings like this. So this is rolling three drawings or flipping three drawings at a time back and forth to check your movement. 
and you can make adjustments in here as you as you need. <clears throat> okay, so that's the end of this sequence, and then I'm going to do another sequence where I'm showing you how to how to roll five drawings. That'll be after this.